Hi, I'm Graham from Seal Innovations, and today we're going to demonstrate best practice for installing packing rings into a pump stuffing box. We're going to use some special tamping tools, which will enable us to tamp our rings in and provide the best possible gland sealing joint. We're going to start with our scarf cut rings, and when installing the rings into your stuffing box, it's important that we stagger the joints so we not creating a leak path for the product out of the gland. I like to use the, the 90 degree method where we stagger the joints at every 90 degree. So we start off with the scarf cut at 12 o'clock for the first ring, three o'clock for the second ring, six o'clock and nine o'clock and so on until we continue filling the stuffing box with packing rings. Now, when we uh, install the ring, it's easiest to uh, push the the scarf cut joint into the gland first and then work the ring around the shaft and into the gland. Next we're going to take our long tamping tool and put that on top of the ring and push it into the gland. We're going to take our second tamping tool to get the reach we need to get to the bottom of the gland and push that on top of the first. Okay, now we take a gland follower and install that onto the, uh, the stuffing box. Taking care to maintain an even gap either side of the, the gland and provide an even tension on the gland nuts. So after we've installed our first gland, gland ring, we can remove the nuts and the gland follower. Now to remove the tamping tools, we're going to use a, a packing extractor. So simply install the packing extractor into the tamping tool, little twist, and remove the tamping tool. Proceed to remove the second tamping tool in the same manner. Now we're ready to install our second ring. Now the second ring, as I said, needs to be staggered to prevent any leakage. And we'll position those scarf cut joints at the, around the three o'clock position. And following a, a similar procedure to the first ring. Okay, now we have that blend um, compressed and those rings nicely set at the bottom of the stuffing box. We'll continue with the same process until we have the remaining rings and lantern ring installed in the plan. So now we've got our packing ring installed over our, the shaft and in the stuffing box. We're going to loosen off that gland follower and just allow it to sit for around three to five minutes because what we want it to do now is the packing rings need to expand a little and, and relax a little in the stuffing box because at the moment they're, they're fairly tightly compacted and we need them to just um, relax and release some pressure on the stuffing box. So now we need to talk about how we're going to adjust the gland to get an optimal life out of the packing. To do that, we need to adjust the gland while the pump is running. So it's time to turn your flush water on and turn the shaft of the pump on. Now, ideally, we wanna be able to adjust the gland so that we're getting around 20 drops per minute leakage per 25 millimeter of shaft size. So for instance, if we've got a 100 millimeter shaft, we're aiming at around about 80 drops per minute leakage from the gland. Now, 
during the running of the gland, you need to make your first adjustment as I've just done, and then run the pump for around 15 minutes and then readjust again. So it's a process of uh, a start up and a run in of the gland and every 15 minutes, we're gonna check the leakage and if, we've got, if we have excessive leakage, we're gonna adjust that gland one flat at a time on the nut, so one sixth of a turn, and then let it run again for another 10 to 15 minutes and check the leakage. And once you've completed that, you've got your leakage to an acceptable level, the gland is now ready to run. It's correctly seated and our um, experience has shown that a correctly installed gland will increase your packing life by up to 40%. So there you have it. To demonstrate the advantages of the correctly installed gland, we're going to install a similar gland without the use of our tamping tools. If we look at the gland on the left, which has been packed using best practices, we can see that all the packing rings are uniformly compressed throughout the gland. This results in an even distribution of the sealing forces and less migration of pump liquids from the neck of the gland. In comparison, the gland on the right, which was installed without proper tamping techniques, the packing rings are not evenly compressed and bulging in places. This results in an uneven distribution of sealing forces as there is less compression on the first three rings, requiring over compression on the last two rings to seal the gland. If you follow our best practice method, our experience is your packing life will be increased up to 40%. Other benefits include a decrease in energy consumption, less wear on your shaft sleeves, and improved reliability on your pump. So in real terms, your pump is going to operate up to 40% longer and keep industry moving.